the reason why um, I'm starting off my Power of Woo series dealing with the Law of Attraction, as shown in The Secret, is because this is a notion that's been around for a bit of a while, and a lot of the Woo hucksters um, take these kind of notions way too far. One of the key reasons why I feel it's important to go after this first in The Power of Woo, and why I'm spending so much time on it, is because this is the starting point for a lot of the Woo hucksters, including spirit science. Many of us have heard of this thing called the Law of Attraction. What? Over the entire world, people have written in to tell of their amazing stories, where they've really focused on having what they wanted, and got it through miracles and coincidences. True, I want a penis. This is but a small piece in the vast ocean of the internal world that I'll be talking about. It is, however, very real, and you can literally change everything in your life by willing it so. So it's basically this power of thought bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you think that about something that you want and you believe that you have it, it will come to you. However, also, and more disturbingly, anything bad that happens to you is your fault. Really that simple, huh? Mm -hmm. And the people are out there believing this shit. That's the sad part. I'll be playing a clip and then pausing it, and feel free to comment whatever the fuck comes to mind. The most amusing comments will be taken and incorporated into what is the final video. It's important to recognize that our body is really the product of our thoughts. I wish I'd have known this when I was six years old and looked like Opie, so I could have thought myself not to look like Opie and not got called Opie my entire childhood. Thank you very much. What happened to, to me having, like, fucking muscles like Thor from the movies? No, instead I'm a skinny twig that lives in Florida. Did you think that you wanted muscles like Thor and think I have muscles like Thor even though I don't? Did you? Uh, anyway. No, because I'm not a fucking moron. We're beginning to understand in medical science the degree to which the nature of thoughts and emotions actually determines the physical substance and structure and function of our bodies. What? what? <laughs> so, so does that mean he's happy with the way he looks? <laughs> does it work on other people too? Or it's you sit there and have a positive outlook and you ask the universe to give you something. Nobody else's minds count into this at all. It's completely just, you're the only one that exists for all intents and purposes. Okay, I can tell you this is totally bullshit because if it was true, my wife would have boobs like there is no tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and, I've, and I've had many years to think about it, so it's not a matter, I mean, <laughs> the, the, the will was there, the time was there, the intention was there, and, I mean, she still has got the same one as when I knew her, so that's bullshit. We've known in the healing arts of a placebo effect. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I, I sound like a broken record here, I'm sorry, because, you know, someone might, say, might think I'm a maniac, but that's bullshit. When I, I wish I had an erection which lasts, you know, four hours, you know, I, it doesn't Actually, work. Actually, that's a medical emergency you don't want. To <laughs> it is. It is. It's, it's an hydraulic problem. Where do I get the placebo for Viagra? That's what I want to know. Exactly. Placebo. That was my original point. <laughs> Thank you. you. Yeah, you got it right. I think they're going to explain the placebo effect in terms of the law of attraction, though. Um, I, I, I'm not sure if I actually kept that clip. Let's see what the next one is. The placebo has the same effect, if not greater effect, than sometimes the medication is supposed to be designed for that effect. Oh, really? Okay. I, I, I'll make sure to tell my liver that when it fails. The human mind is the biggest factor in the healing arts, uh, more so than sometimes the medication. Source, please. If it's an acute situation that could bring, bring death to them, then obviously the medicine is a wise thing to do while they explore what the mind is about. He actually I'm... spoke a little common sense there. I'm surprised. Yeah, that's like, called yeah. covering our asses, Claus. Yeah. So you don't want to negate medicine. Every form of healing has a place. What the fuck is wrong with that guy? I mean, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this guy is their official physician. And by physician, they mean chiropractor. They crack bones. That's it. Yes, they're truly crackologists. <laughs> We've got a thousand different diagnoses and disease out there. They're all the result of one thing, stress. Bullshit. <laughs> oh, I mean, uh, uh, where uh, do you start? Where do you start? I'm well, like I, you, Red Light. I'm like, I, I, I just don't even know where to start on that. Okay. All right, let, let's see what the chiropractor has to say about this. Remove physiological stress from the body, and the body does what it was designed to do. It heals itself. 
And no matter how hard you're thinking about it, it's not going to do jack shit. I know cancer patients that wish that okay. they could make that happen. No, that, that doesn't work that way, dickhead. As a diabetic, tell that to my pancreas. Right. Our physiology creates disease to give us feedback, to let us know we have an imbalanced perspective and we're not loving and we're not grateful. An imbalanced perspective? What? Citation, oh, wow. please. Incurable means curable from within. Oh, shit. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah. So when a person has uh, manifested a disease through the power of right thinking, can it be turned around? And the answer is absolutely yes. Bollocks. Not just bollocks, but big, fat, hairy, sweaty bollocks. Oh, I love how this guy's title is visionary. Yes. Oh, I'm going Michael, to say that. Michael Beck with DD. What's the DD stand for? Detective Dumbass. Uh, Doctor of Divinity. Doctor of Dumbassery. Yes. Disease cannot live in a body that's in a healthy emotional state. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool. Okay. 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 I mean, I, I, I've read stuff from Stephen King, which makes more sense. And by stuff, I mean, you know, giant spiders in sewers, killing clowns and aliens buried in the woods. They made more sense than that. Well, I mean... I, I have no idea what the guy is smoking, but I want a, a huge amount of that. I want the name, and I want to order it now, because it's insane. What the fuck? Hang on, I think my daughter just knocked the house over with laughter. I did. <laughs> See, she's in a positive state. She, she is not healed. She, I mean, she can get anything. Send her out there. Just have a laugh and go cure Ebola in Africa, for fuck's sake. If you have a disease and you're focusing on it and you're talking to people about it, you're going to create more disease cells. <laughs> yes, because apparently if you carry your health problems, it's your fucking fault that you're dying. Don't, don't talk to me about your symptoms. It'll make things worse. Exactly. So if you ignore uh, your disease, it'll go. Again, citation, please. The power of ignorance, then? Yeah. yeah. I've seen uh, kidneys regenerated. I've seen uh, cancer dissolved. I've seen uh, eyesight improve and come back. I've seen brains, cow brains, fried, and they were delicious. So, yeah. I mean, I've yeah, seen that's, stuff, that's, too. That's that's that, well, if everybody uses the secret... And they all treat the universe like a catalog. Aren't we gonna run out of stuff? Mm. Well, we, we we're gonna to uh, we're gonna to run out of what? St stuff. 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 Oh, okay, stuff. Yeah, I know. I think yeah, the oil right. industry might be interested in that argument. Well, but, but yeah, there might be a I'll point if here. if by sharing the secret it means everybody buys the book, and by stuff, you mean money, he might have a point. Won't everybody just make a run for it and bust the bank? What's beautiful about the teaching of the great secret is that there's more than enough to go around for everyone. There is a lie that acts like a virus within the mind of humanity, and that lie is there's not enough good to go around. There's lack and there's limitation and there's just not enough. That lie has people living in fear, greed, stinginess, and those thoughts of fear, greed, stinginess, and lack become their experience. So the world is, has taken a nightmare pill. Now, of course, the problem with this is, if they this worked as they claimed, then all I'd need to do is just sit there and wish and wish and wish and believe that I had a saber-toothed caterpillar in my hand and it would just magically appear. Oh, bad idea! Bad idea! Bad! Bad! No! Take your hand and look at it. Now, your hand looks solid, but it's really not. <laughs> no, 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 what he's saying is technically true. Hang on. If you put it under a proper microscope, you'd see a mass of energy vibrating. That's where he fucks up. Uh, yeah, there's no microscope in the world powerful enough to actually resolve things on that level. Everything is made up of the exact same thing, whether it's your hand, whether it's the ocean, or whether it's a star. Everything is energy. 
Well, okay. it, yeah, it could be. By it certain depends theories. on what kind of energy that you're... No, 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 this is actually important. What kind Get of energy gone. are you talking about? Are they yeah. talking about the spiritual energy? In that case, total bullshit. No, yeah, no. Um... It, it's kind of true, but let's see where they go with it. Even even under a microscope, you're an energy field. <laughs> microscope and they're showing an atom. <laughs> well, what we know about energy is this. You go to a quantum physicist and you say, what creates the, the world? And he or she will say, energy. Well, describe energy. Okay, it can never be created or destroyed. It's all always was, always has been. Ever, everything that ever existed always exists. It's moving into form, through form, and out of form. Okay, great. You go to a theologian and you ask the question, what created the universe? And he or she will say God. Okay, describe God. Always was and always has been, never can be created or destroyed. All that ever was, always will be, always moving into form, through form and out of form. You see, it's the same description, just different terminology. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. The, the theologian would never, a oh, couple of things here. First of all, the theologian would never say that God moves in and out of forms. God is, by definition, changeless and eternal as he is. They don't even say that he has been and always will be. Most theologians think that God is timeless, ergo he de there is never a time where he was or will be. So those properties wouldn't be ascribed to him, more or less. Just, just saying. False equivocation going on. So now God is energy. Okay, then. Because yeah. I can describe you as energy, and I can describe energy the same as God. You are a God. Yeah. Well, in that case, I would have been a billion-dollar playboy. What the fuck am I doing in Florida? Okay, okay, okay. I'm, gonna, I'm going to attempt to use this guy's logic. Peanut butter is good. Boobies are good. <laughs> boobies are peanut butter. Well, you can put peanut butter on boobies and make them even more good. <laughs> Kevin, get out of my head. I'm not saying I've ever tried that, but... Um, Delicious. <laughs> it's great. Yep, and that's technically it. Thank okay, God. So I at mean, the very I'm, end of it all... I'm, I'm, I'm food, glad I don't have a gun, but if I played them. one more minute of that stupidity, I might have shot myself if I had a gun. I watched the full two-hour movie to get the clips. I I, There's I a two-hour version of this... Yes. Yeah, it's a movie. It's a full-length, feature-length movie. It's also a book. Oh, and were... fuck. You should see it in IMAX. It's great. There's a whole kind of people that actually believe in this shit, too. That's the scary part. Very basically put, the law of attraction says that like attracts like. You, you, you become what you think about most, but you also attract what you think about most. Thoughts become things. I don't care what city you're living in, you've got enough power in your body, potential power, to illuminate the whole city for nearly a week. If you see it in here, you're going to hold it here. There's enough for everyone. If you believe it, if you can see it, if you act from it, it will show up for you. You can change your life and you can heal yourself. Incurable means curable from within. I've seen uh, kidneys regenerated. I've seen uh, a cancer dissolved. Are there any limits to this? Absolutely not. We are unlimited beings. You have God potential and power to create your world. Now you understand it. And the more you use it, the more you'll understand it. Prudent, we were talking, of, you were saying a while ago that I should go after spirit science. Do you understand why I'm going after this instead? Yeah, fuck, yes. This is incredibly disingenuous. This is feeding people incredibly false information that could lead to very dangerous ideas and to very dangerous practices. That's the truth. Uh, she kept trying to get me to watch YouTube videos about, um, you know, thinking about uh, changing our genes and genes changing. <sighs> Lovely. Yeah. But yeah, and I know it's a fairly unpleasant topic, but I, I remember that in one of the Hangouts you made a comment of she wa she wanted me to re use it to regrow my fingers or something like that, and I'm like, wow, yeah. now there's a fucking soundbite. Yeah, that's... that, that was... 95, I'm 95% sure that that was the intention. She also would cuss me out in Spanish to my ex about 
how I am not a whole person. So it was yeah. a, she was so basically she thought that you could change your genes to fix genetic problems. Yeah. That's fucked up shit. Yeah.